Welcome to another Hubnut video and in this one I'm going to be putting my 2CV back together and finishing the service. These are tasks I was meant to be doing yesterday but I got distracted and went for a drive in a Rover. So um, I bought in a supervisor to make sure I actually do what I'm meant to be doing. Because uh, I can be trusted, yeah? Um, no. No. We See all, also oh, the state of the unit. Ignore the state of the unit, there's a reason the camera is there. <laughs> you can't see the mess. Can't see the mess. It's fine. Somebody was asking the other day, where in the unit are you? And I said, that's the front of the unit, because behind the camera is devastation again. Chaos, including a didgeridoo and a bass amp. Oh, marvellous. And an inflating mattress. Just what everybody yeah. needs. But also, we are dual mic so hopefully you can hear both of us loud and clear. Having to record this on the Canon M50, because my action camera won't do this two mic setter, which is a bit irritating. We'll find out if this worked or if we're just silently gesticulating when we get home. Yeah, maybe this will be a world of voiceover. Silent over gesticulating again. video. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a lovely warm day, it's a good day for greasing, the grease will move nice and easily. It's glorious, you might notice yeah. that we're only jumpers. Yeah, uh, we've got very colourful t-shirts on. Uh, it might get to that stage, you might see our t-shirts yep, later possibly. on. Possibly. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll get started. Uh, I'm going to be working on this, are you going to be tidying up my mess? <laughs> Yes, I'm going to be tidying up your mess. Let's just put again on there. Again, yes, again. Yes. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Oh, yay. Yay. Uh, so, yeah, this is what's going on here. The rubbers have just disintegrated over time. Uh, the washers and cotter pins are still working, but are a bit messy. But this is how the gear lever works. Uh, if I just put Ellie's handbrake on a moment, so she doesn't try to roll off. Here we go. So this is how the gear lever works, that's uh, in first at the moment and then you push the rod and the gear lever pings across to the middle and goes forward into second, second's up here somewhere and then third's back and then fourth is over here reverse is opposite first and is there so that's how it all works but as this gets slopping then that can move around far too much on its own you get far too much play and it buzzes and rattles and it's quite annoying, so I'm going to take this apart using those long nose pliers I cleverly left just here. Is that okay? Leaving things cleverly? Um, no, I could have sworn we put in place a lovely tiny system. Yeah, well, it was there. Let's put that one there. It was only there because you'd already stuck. I'll take this one out, and then you'll see we've got a little washer on top. And yeah, that's meant to be one piece. So that's not all of the good times. The other bit's just falling into the chassis. Marvellous. What have you lost? A little washer and a bit of rubber. Did you find that? Uh, I found the washer and that's the important bit, I think. And then we push this pin out and uh, we can replace this broken rubber as well. So yes, what a mess. I thought this was going to be a clean job. Remember I said I was going to put a plaster on and then gloves? And let me guess you've done neither? <laughs> Would you like a plaster? Yes. Let, let's pause and clean up because I made the mistake of getting between two dogs who were not being very friendly with each other uh, last night. Oh, someone did ask me to play the manifold so um, I'll give it a go. <laughs> No, I don't think I can do it. Those mighty car mods, boys, they know what they're doing. Okay, I've learned that this goes a certain way around, and I had it the wrong way around. Uh, so give that a bit of a squish. Try and get it into here. I was just wondering whether I'd be better off using some lubricant, but then I remembered Miss Hubnuts here. Word, not a single word. Go back through with the copper pin. Oh, I can't say anything. I was just about to say this should tighten things up a treat. <laughs> it's not me, I'm just innocently tidied up. You are the one that is besmirching your own mind. Yeah, 
maybe a little bit. That's in. Now get that on the gear lever. Oh, that's all. A lot. Oh no, there's a washer to go under that. Uh, new washer. Got the uh, least central hole I've ever seen on a washer. Nonetheless, I'm sure it'll work. And we um, encourage that on there. Let's go to neutral, it might be easier. There we go. Uh, we have a washer first to protect that bush. Then we've got a little spinny, flat washer, fingy, bent washer, whatever you want to call it. And then we've got another pin. Split pin or R-clip. I love your descriptions. They're great, aren't they? Yeah. I'm so technical. So technical. This is what I don't actually want to teach you how to work on cars because you realise <laughs> how much rubbish I spout. Can you imagine if I went to college? I'd be like, you know the doohickey what's it? That goes on the doodah, you know? They'd be like, I don't actually like that clip. What? That clip is very insecure. I'm going to fit one of the old ones. There's another case of repro parts not always as good as original parts. I think. There we go. That's more secure. Uh, let's just hop inside the car, shall we, and have a look at the gear change. So let's just run through the gears inside. We've got fun clutch. There we go. We've got first, second, third, fourth. And uh, that feels a lot more positive. And uh, reverse is there. So that feels good. Oh, we'll turn the handbrake off again now. I uh, don't like leaving cars sitting with a handbrake on. So the first faff is complete. And uh, tidy up these spare bits, we'll put those to one side. You never know when they're going to be useful. But yeah, look at the state of that. Definitely seen better days. Um, what have I done with the screwdrivers? I actually put them away. No, surely not. No. I didn't put that one away, but that's the wrong screwdriver. Are they in the box? No, they're in the screwdriver drawer. Are they? Actual. For real? As they'd say around these parts, genuine. Genuine? Right, as I was saying, air filter assembly on a 2CV. Pete Sparrow has clearly modified it the last time we went to see him. There isn't usually a screw here, but uh, what often happens is the plastic wears. And it's just basically a plastic screw thread that stops that undoing so it just undoes while you're driving along and pops out uh, which is really good for induction noise it sounds great but not so good um, if you actually want your air being filtered properly oh that's not meant to happen <laughs> what happened my filter just fell apart oh but actually that still looks quite clean so i think i'm just going to leave that be uh, might have to order a new one of those i think Okay, you don't Because that's, that's not perfect. <coughs> but I'm going to say it'll do for now. <laughs> so, there we go. We'll put that back. We'll put the screw in and we shall say no more about it. Now, this is how you service a car. Are you learning? Uh. <laughs> Just say yes. I'm, um, yes. There we go. Right, so we've done air filter, um, probably time to get the grease gun out uh, for more thrilling footage of me jacking Ellie up and greasing things. Uh, but it really isn't that long since I last did it, but seeing as we're here, we might as well. So for that I'm going to need a trolley jack. It just so happens there is one here. We aim for the axle bolts on the chassis. We try not to hit the day it is. We do the jack up so it actually pumps. Yeah, this garage isn't big enough. No, it isn't. Look, I haven't got room to wheel the jack. It's very slowly making its way towards the chassis of Ellie. Hmm. What? Stop looking at that pile. That's important things. Hello, here she goes. Now you can see how much um, suspension travel there is on a 2CV. Lots and lots and lots. Lots and of lots. Lots and lots. I still remember having a puncture on my first 2CV and the AA man had to come out because somebody had done the wheel nuts up too tight, I couldn't get them undone. And he's just jacking it and jacking it and the wheel's on the ground and he's starting to look at us like we're a bunch of young lads who were just winding him up. Some sort of joke car. 
There we go, the wheel's rocking. Incidentally, uh, that's in gear. And you still get that amount of um, free play through the gearbox and everything. And even if I put the handbrake on, the wheel still moves that much. That's just free play in the drive shaft because you've got a sl sliding joint there. I remember on a ferry that causing a great deal of alarm. So I'm saying, your handbrake's not on. I was just like, no it is, look. So I'm just going to move to jack a bit. The way I do kingpins is get it on full extension, pump a bit of grease in, go the other way, pump a bit of grease in. So we'll do that. It's going to wipe off the nipple, so I'm not pumping, shut up, dirt in. And we'll go into the kingpin. No, it's going everywhere. As is Sod's law, great. There will be no more greasing in this video. Uh, the grease gun is rubbish and should be killed. Um, it seems to mostly like spraying grease out of places other than the end. So that one's going in the bin as well. Where happened to it? It went flying. Did it? Mm. Did it have a clear trajectory? Let's, let's move swiftly on. I'm sure Myrtle doesn't mind the damage. Look, Angry Man put some scratches and small dents, there's a slight dent there, into his lovely car. Well, she seems to be covered in scratches anyway, I don't know where that's come from. That is not from this incident. Uh, but she, she's going in for paint and repairs because these sills uh, have been welded before, so they're solid, but they look absolutely terrible. So uh, we're going to take that's her somewhere to get that sorted out. That's convenient. What? It's good for paint. Yeah, but look look at these heroic efforts here. Maybe I should help do this stuff instead, because I might get further than now with the 2CV. No. Uh, on which I have failed to complete a job today. No? Not not yet more distracted from the early fix. Oh, okay. But yeah, I'll, I'll grease have her up. I'll, I'll have a cup of tea. That's a great idea. Yay! I've decided I can't get any further with servicing. Uh, I need better... Greasing equipment, that's on order. But like I say, I did do some greasing fairly recently. Are you TikToking at me? No. Oh. I don't have any TikToks yet. Social media in? Um, I'm trying to take a picture of Well, yeah, I'm backlit. Thank you. It's my halo. Your halo? Yeah. Your creativity halo, is it, darling? Exactly, I'm a creative. So I know it's a creative, isn't it? When I'm a creator. I make marvellous content of me mostly failing to do jobs properly. So my friends can shout at me. Hello, Jono. Jono at Peak 2CV, I'm sure he loves watching me make a complete <laughs> ham-fisted mess of working on my car. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe I should just go and see Jono at Peak 2CV and he can service my car. That would be the way to do it. Yes, support local independent businesses. 2CVs are great. Apart from the grease points. The grease points are irritating. So you're looking forward to the bit where we build a second one? Yeah. That's alright, we can get the children to grease it. Ellie's going to hate that. Yeah. She does get envious. I remember, she wasn't great when I first met you. No! A door lock that suddenly and mysteriously wouldn't work. Uh, and the whole engine replacement. Yeah. Yeah, the first time I met you I had to replace the engine. She's got a bit better since then, bless. Can you even see this? Oh, you can. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> a rare case of me actually getting the camera angle right. There we go. These little A panels have three fixings. And one of them is down here. And I've got an indicator earth on there as well. So this is one of the last hurrahs of our home educating exploits. Um, yes. yes, yes, that's a massive relief. Um, Mini Miss Hubner had a task in her design and technology class that she had to create a t-shirt for the Eisteddfod. Um, for those of you that don't know, an Eisteddfod is a Welsh festival of sort of culture and whatnot. Um, you do make creative things and you do recitation and singing and whatnot. So she had this competition. What the hell and, was that? Uh, I dread to think, dear. Oh. And uh, she told us she had to make a t-shirt. So she, apparently then it had to be tie-dyed. Um, because why wouldn't you? It, well, exactly. But so, so, we, so this is apparently Welsh culture? Yes. So we decided that we would all make t-shirts. 
and I think we look rather stylish. Haven't you done well in Eisteddfods previously? Is that the plural of Eisteddfod? Well, in Welsh it'd probably be Eisteddfod Dai. Oh. Yeah. So you could treat us to some Welsh. Could I treat you to some Welsh? Yeah. What do you want? I don't know. What, did, what did you do? I'm on the spot now. Oh God, I used to recite, I used to sing, I wrote poetry. Oh, this, is, <laughs> this is all quality material right here. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. No, thank you. I'll look it up. God, shy now. Oh, come audience. on. It's only the entire internet. Yeah, only you? the entire internet. Do you know, I wrote a poem when I was... Because um, in the Eisteddfod, the highest accolade is called the, the chair, and the English version is the tlus. And um, I wrote this poem. And, of course, I was an angsty teenager at that point in time. And it was dark. I will admit it was dark. I need to repaint this wing. This wing's got in a bit of a state. I think I've driven into things or... Dragged things over, poor Ellie. Or thrown grease guns. Never. <coughs> that seems most unlikely. Pull the headlamp bar forward mm -hmm. and slot it in like so. And then the bottom requires also a bit of argy bargy and we're in. Convincing. And now we'll tighten up the horn that some people saw sort of flap and drop that on the floor. <laughs> Uh, Some people, people saw the horn flapping around and were concerned, but this is why the horn was flapping around. Because it attaches to the It wing. shares that mm -hmm. mounting bolt. You just give the wing a push this way. Push that way? From yeah. where? From down the bottom here. Is that okay? That's kind of gone backwards. Oh, marvellous. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's the spot. Yeah, I think I need to slacken that one off a bit. Okay, give it a shove. Shoving. There we go. I think where I want to be. Done. Oh, I've just found out what that sound was we heard tinkling away. Oh, what was that sound? It was the very important clips that hold this panel in place. Awesome! Oh, one fell in the oil, because reasons. After some efforts, we found it. Uh, it involved yet more tidying up, really, so I've got a bit more space around me. So I'm very glad I have Miss Hubnut here. But yeah, th this is how quick and simple it is to take the wings off a of 2CV. It's a piece of cake. It takes mere seconds, if you're not me. We have two weeks without the hublets at the moment. Yes, this is very but true. But the time is running away with us, so I think the, uh, the massive clean will be a summer holidays objective. Oh, is that for me to look forward to, is it? <laughs> well... Uh, I am going to be sorted out this um, summer. <laughs> I will be made to be organised. It'll be like my magnum opus and I'll, it'll, I'll look at it and think, yes, that looks beautiful. And then the next, give it a week, I reckon. <laughs> I want to be better. I want to be tidy. I'm just not very good at it, as you've noticed. As you may have noticed with the merchandise occasionally. What? It. <laughs> the, um, I, it's going to quickly get to the stage, I just won't be allowed to do merchandise. <laughs> Is this one of those manly ploys where you do it really badly so you don't get asked again? No, I am just, as you said earlier, off camera, mildly chaotic. I, I think, can't really help that. It's just how I, I am. I think I increased it to moderately chaotic. Oh, oh dear. Mm. It's charming that. though, love. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, come on, we're one bolt away from going home. Well, one bolt and a bonnet. The bonnet, also known as Tuck's very stylish hat. Yeah, she's loving her having a hat. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is going so well. Where did that go? <sighs> Sounded like it came towards the front. Did you find it? Yeah, these panels just don't fit very well. I think I need my special ratchety friend at this point. Mm. Is that because you need it or because you just like to play with it? Look at that! <laughs> oh, I love it. And then you turn it into a normal ratchet for a bit more angle. You just like playing with your tool. Yeah, this might be the um, best ratchet I've ever had. So thank you to the person who sent me that. I love it. I absolutely love it. Right, bonnet stay. Isn't like so. Metallic tray. Magnetic rubber. Comes off. We are getting ready to put the bonnet back on. Right. Uh, Sorry, Tuck, I need to take your hat off. Oh, that was a horrible squeak. Uh, I need to be at the other end of this bonnet now. This is going to take some doing. There we go. Oh, there's some water in this bonnet. That's yeah. And we slide the hinge up and we just push the bonnet on. 
like so. And we connect up the windscreen washer hose before we forget. You wouldn't forget that, surely. Have in the past. <laughs> and the bonnet comes down. And we say thank goodness for that, let's go home. But we'll take the roof off first, because I like doing that. So, first half goes back. You can run in that position, but not advised to go too quickly in that position. We clip it on here. We unclip on the side. And on the other side. And then we simply roll the roof back, like a sardine can. Got to love a 2CV. Voila! Simple, very little to go wrong. <laughs> and we are ready to drive home in the sunshine. So let's do that. See how she cold starts. Right, so far I've already discovered I almost need to relearn the gear change because it's actually um, tight and accurate now and doesn't have anywhere near as much slop in it. Um, but here we go. Feels a lot better. And she's pulling nicely as well, I think. What a lovely day for a drive. people smile. And uh, they kind of make almost everyone smile, which is nice. What are you looking at? The road. Oh, it's a lovely bit of road, isn't it? Yes, be beautiful. different cars but nothing gives me as much joy as a 2CV so I hope you've enjoyed this rather ramshackle all over the place video uh, do remember you can head to the Hub Nut store and buy lovely things I'm afraid you cannot buy these stylish tie-dye t-shirts uh, but we made ourselves but <laughs> we have many other t-shirts that aren't quite so colourful and uh, look forward to seeing you in a future video. Farewell!